Hello guys, welcome again to Metsa Shin with Mr. M. And today we are going to deal with grade number 10, both similarity and congruency. So stay tuned and enjoy. Okay guys, now we are going to begin with congruency on these two triangles. Now basically we are told to prove A, E, B and D, E, C, the triangles that are congruent. Now congruence you have to find a side and an angle. Therefore on this one we are proving because we are given this side to be equal to that side. Basically these lines mean these sides are equal. Therefore making it DE is equal to BE. So DE is equal to BE, which is basically our given. So we have a reason and a statement. And also because there is two parallel lines, DC and AB, AB is parallel, this means parallel equal. Now therefore making these angles, which is our zigzag right there, this angle equal to that angle because of that parallel line. Therefore, angle A, angle A is equal to angle C. Why? Alternate angle. So, we have a statement and a reason. Also, when you're looking at this zigzag on this side, on the opposite side, we have this angle equal to that angle, which is angle D is equal to angle B. Why? alternate angles. So, now we can conclude and say therefore triangle A E P is congruent to D E C because we have a side and an angle and an angle. Therefore, we conclude our congruency right there. Now, it's a different scenario when it comes to similarity. We are working on two triangles that are similar to each other. And therefore we are told that to find the unknown side, which is CD, small d, and also the unknown side of FH, small f. Now, if, because we are looking on the unknown, we are looking to find the unknown side of the bigger triangle, therefore we are going to say CD over FG, CD, over FG is equal to ED over HG. So this side is over this side. CD is an unknown D, the D that we want. It's over 3 is equal to ED is equal to 24 divided by 8, which is HG. Therefore, 24 divided by 8 is going to be a 3. 3 times 3, we are going to get a D that is equal to 9. So, we find that side to be 9. Now, it's a little slight difference when you want the unknown side of the smaller triangle in the similarity. Because you are going to turn things around when it comes to your fractions. Therefore, you are going to start with a smaller one. Which is basically saying to you that HF will be over CE equals to HG will be over ET. There. Now, HF, where is our HF? HF is our unknown. It's divided by CE. CE, we are given, is 15. HG, we are given as 8. And also ET is equal to 24. So what do we have now? We have 1 over 3 multiplied by 15, which is basically 15 divided by 3. So, F will be equal to 8. Because when you take this one, 8 divided by 8 divided by 24, it's going to be 1 over 3, which is basically 1 over 3 times 15. F would be equal to 5, basically not 8. So, it's going to be 15 divide by 3. So you find your T and you find your F. That is all when it comes to congruency and similarity.